Good morning, Classified Collectors. Phoenix Rising Creation is back with another G.I. Joe Classified figure review. This is number 74, that's right. Scrap Iron and his Armor Drone. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get him out of his packaging and take a up-close look at him and his Armor Drone. Classified Collectors, we have Scrap Iron out of his box. And this is what it looks like once you open yours up. I always like to start with the accessories, so we'll keep that trend going. Scrap Iron comes with a pistol. He comes with his helmet with the Cobra emblem on the front. I like how the deco on the visor, it is kind of reflective. And then the last accessory for Scrap Iron himself is this little control pad that he uses to control the drone. The blast effects. No pun intended, I'm blown away. This is really cool. Now this, this right here, things like this can set a figure apart greatly. Now the other two remaining blast effects, we're going to move those out of the way are this short one right here and then this long one and this these two blast effects are to simulate the rockets coming out of his drone let's take a look at one of the rockets real quick and this is a really cool rocket now when you put this on the blast effect boom it's on there it's solid Let's look at his drone. Taking this thing off the packaging, this thing is two pieces. The top does come off very easily. If you want to put it back in the packaging, you can. Look at the front of it. I'm going to bring that in really close. That's the front of the drone. That detail, like a camera and sensors and the deco on it. Up on the top, you've got another sensor or something here. And then over here, I don't know if that's a, like a communication type array or if that's for venting something. But let's take a look. And even right here, on the side of it, it's got the Mars logo. It has a serial number. And on the back, the deco. And it's not just painted on. That gray meshing is actually textured. I really love this. This... Now, we spin her around to the last side here, and yet again, the Mars logo and Anti-Tank 002. This, we look down here at the treads. At first, I thought these were independent, but they are not the same material as the rest of it. Treads on the front and back are a different rubbery material. And I've tried moving them. It would have been cool if Hasbro made it that these treads spin, but they don't. But it's a cool effect. And you have little light, lights things there. Overall, this, this is, I'm loving this one. I, um, the legs are independent. They are, can, you know, up, down. One of the things that also would have been cool is if these were kind of pivoted too. Now, let's stick the missile in. We'll put one missile in here. Boom. It doesn't lock in. It sits in there. And we'll take the blast effect. And put that in so you guys can see. And boom. Seat that in. And these notches here... I'm taken away because you can see the blast effect, like the smoke building up and it coming out and the rocket flames. This is dope. Let's look at Scrap Iron up close. I'm going to tell you right now, I had him in the three and three quarter version as a kid. They did the six inch version justice. This looks spot on. On his shoulder there, you've got the giant Cobra logo. On the back, it's padded. He's got the belt. He's got some grenades on the front there. And yes, this is a pinless figure. 
Other than that, he does have the standard classified articulation. But now let's move into his head. Let's get him in there and take a look. Like, look at his face. That is gnarly. On the side of his head there, there's some scars. They chose a very nice paint application to give that, like, after it's a burnt skin is healed look. And his ear, his ear is even charred up. Like, this is by far one of the best figures that I have seen Hasbro put out. Now, the fact that they didn't decide to give us a head like this and then a head with the helmet on it. They gave us a helmet to put on his head. So let's see how the helmet fits on. Oh, 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 a little tight. But we'll get it on there. Boom. Now that's... So if it's a little tight, that's okay. But you get it on him and... Boom. That... This... Classified Collectors, Hasbro has knocked this one out of the park. I am very satisfied with this figure. I love this figure. Classified Collectors, when you get yours, I hope you guys love this figure as well. This is a really dope figure. Classified Collectors, if you guys like the figure reviews that I'm bringing you, please drop a comment below. And remember to click that like, share, and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys are notified when a new classified figure review is going to be coming out. And until the next video, stay safe, be kind, and keep collecting.